come up with it. Brown gets it. Brown back up off the window. It's going to be no good, but Preston Ross. Preston Ross slams it in. Hangs on the rim, and the Catamounts are tied. Oh, got a loose ball on the floor. Battle for it. Harrelson coming up with it. Back over to Boggs, and he jams it. Boggs, the two-hand slam, and the Catamount fans come to their feet. Just really happy with the win. It was uh, you know, just really a hard-fought golf ball game by both teams. Uh, I thought Sanford competed very well as we knew they would, and, and uh, but I was just really proud of our guys. You know, without Trey out there, they thought Red Harrelson really handled the point really well, both ends of the court, offensively and defensively, for the point position. And uh, you know, Mike Brown just uh, steps up and makes a big play for us there at the end, and knocked it down. So I thought we were in control of the game. I thought really what went for us was our defense. They were two of 18 behind the three-point line, and they're leading the league in three-point percentage, almost 38 percent as a team. Uh, and uh, I thought we had a, a stretch there. Under, they, they took it from the four-minute mark under the two-minute mark. They had about four possessions in a row, and we didn't let them score. And uh, I thought that was a big key to the ball game as well. 32.6 seconds game clock, 27 seconds shot clock. Here we go. Dogs with the ball in bounds. Both teams 18 fouls apiece, so one and one on any foul. Out in front. 15 on the shot clock. Rajon Kelly's the guy with the ball in his hands. He's their leading scorer. Kelly gets it back over to Hood. Now they go baseline. Getting it is going to be Miller. Goes up and in. Shot no good. And Barnes on the rebound. Got to mess out the ball with nine seconds. Back over to Sinclair. He pulls up for the jumper and he won't go. Harrelson on the rebound. Two seconds to play. Brown follows no good. And the clock runs out and we're going to overtime. All right, here we go. Got mess with the ball inbounds. Can we get a shot to win? Will we play another overtime? Sinclair getting the ball inbounds, looking for Brown. Brown puts it up and oh, it goes in. Oh, it goes in. Wow, it laid on the back of the rim for like two seconds and the ball rolls in and the Catamount players just crawl all over Mike Brown. What a shot. Holy cow, that thing, that's why we couldn't say anything. He put up the shot, and the ball just stuck on the back of the rim. It could have rolled off, but it rolled in, and the Catamounts win in overtime, 56 to 54. Uh, coach called up the play. I was surprised because I really didn't think it was going to be for me, but he called it for me, <clears throat> told me to catch the ball and attack. I couldn't attack, so I just jabbed him and pulled up. I didn't really see it go in at all, but I'm glad it did.